Um, hi, my name is Hasina Saraha and I am in the Stockdale lab here at Wayne State University. I'm a fifth year graduate student and my project mate is with me today. I'm Tini Kondasinghe, again a fifth year student. Who, uh, I joined with Hasina at the same time in the Stockdale lab and we have been uh, working in the peptide project since we joined, uh, joined the group. Yeah, back in 2012. Yeah. We recently published a paper um, about our work, um, some initial findings um, that we developed and it, it's been a long time coming, I guess. Um, well, yeah, yeah, a lot of work was put into the paper. As people may or may not know, only the positive results are what show in a paper. Um, and even then, it's the selected positive. So there's a lot of effort and a lot of work that went into this. Both me and Fellini never had any peptide experience before coming to this lab. So it was a lot of figuring things out. And we um, trained as an organic chemist yes. and then um, started doing peptide synthesis. Yeah, so very different techniques that we had to develop uh, while we were in this lab. So, so just kind of jumping right into what our project is about. Um, we're specifically interested in folding peptides that are disulfide um, rich, so have a lot of cysteine um, in their sequences. It's, it's kind of a, a larger field and in terms of uh, peptide chemistry, um, but we wanted to introduce kind of a new way to fold these disulfide rich uh, peptides. So we kind of looked at different um, protecting groups that were available both commercially and just in the literature that might not be as popular and we kind of stumbled across this aloe cam um, protecting group and from there we kind of were trying to reproduce the uh, synthesis of that group to kind of reintroduce it to the fold of peptide chemistry um, to be used as a protecting group for cysteine because previously although it was um, developed before it, it's very understudied very underused because of some issues with acid uh, sensitivity and things like that um, but we were interested in it because of the removal conditions that you can use palladium based actually removal and so that kind of was interesting to us because we thought, hey, we can uh, take this group and derivatize it further and kind of manipulate um, the way that it's removed and how it interacts with uh, palladium catalysts. And so that kind of was my uh, job, I guess, on the onset of the project was kind of to determine how to first synthesize this group, how to incorporate it on, uh, or basically attach it to cysteine, and then from there, Thelini had to incorporate it into um, peptide. So we were able to do that. Um, we were able to develop a new way to synthesize a cysteine um, with an allocam protecting group a, in a way that's scalable and reproducible. Simply, actually, now I uh, have a couple of undergrads who work with me who are able to reproduce this synthesis um, very efficiently actually and so from there Fellini you know was able to work her magic on, in more of the peptide um, synthesis aspect. As Hasina says in our uh, lab we are trying to develop a suitable method uh, to control the, the order of disulfide conformation in the folding process in uh, disulfide uh, rich mini proteins such as conotoxins. So in order to do that first as she's mentioned we need to synthesize system protecting groups uh, and then we need to uh, incorporate into a peptide and then optimize condition to cleave it at the same time oxidize it in a, uh, in a single step. So this is where uh, we share our roles. Yeah. So, uh, so in the beginning both of us start uh, making different types of uh, system protecting group and then uh, with the time I just step back and start doing peptide work. So in my role in this project is to optimize the solid phase peptide synthesis uh, condition to incorporate this um, allocam protector cysteine or allocam or de uh, the der derivative cysteine into a peptide. First, I start with a model peptide and then optimize condition to remove allocam or deprotected allocam along with oxidation in a single step using palladium. So, we, why we start with palladium is that allyl group removal using palladium or phi allyl uh, allyl uh, removal using palladium system is known in the field. So, first, we started with palladium based conditions along with the external oxidant to do the oxidation step. In the beginning, uh, it didn't turn out well, so we went with different palladium sources with different equivalencies and we played with the different uh, solvent system and with the time intervals and also some uh, additives to do what we wanted to do. And eventually the three solvent system which include DMSO, acetic acid and NMM work different types of palladium sources and we, uh, we think the DMSO itself act as the solvent and the oxidant and uh, it will do the job we wanted to do which is deprotection and oxidation in a single step.
the landing was able to optimize those conditions. Um, so from there, we wanted to make sure that, of course, everything, as they say, works on a model. But then you want to test it, right? So we are so um, excited to yeah. uh, uh, use those conditions into a real peptide. Yeah. So then we so really classic uh, peptide to use to demonstrate um, some something is oxytocin because it's not, it's a short peptide, peptide and it's um, a one uh, disulfide linkage. Yeah. So it's easy to make, you know, known in the literature and so on and so forth. So Fellini was actually able to apply those conditions. Uh, to oxytocin and, and synthesize it successfully. Yeah. Um, so in this paper, we uh, discussed the synthesis of oxytocin using our optimized conditions, which is 1.5 equivalents of palladium acetate in DMSO acetic acid and in uh, NMM condition uh, for six hours. Mm -hmm. In this novel uh, folding method, is very important, I think, because it will advance the field of peptide synthesis. So that kind of wraps up kind of the main points of mm -hmm. what the paper is, what it, what it entailed to to get to that paper um, from our standpoint in terms of the journey and also uh, just like what is contained in the actual pages. So that's about it.